guys, how are you today? It's your girl, Miss Debs. I'm coming to you today from inside of my home. I just want to thank you guys for being a part of my life. I just want to thank you guys for always being there. And what really made me knew that you guys were down was the fact that when um I came to you guys and I talked to you about my son and so much comments and love flowed back. I got so much good positive feedback. As a matter of fact, I can't even recall one bad comment that I saw. I want to give honor to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, because without him, there's no me. There's no you. There's no us. There's no this. Um, I have so much to be thankful for. You know, I was feeling a little down the other day. I said, let me come up here. I have to just talk to my people. It's like we have can just come together as a family. And I love that because um, it's a new feeling for me to um, just get to know people that maybe in a, another walk of life I never would have came to know. And I can honestly say um, the people that's on my channel, everybody has been so welcoming, you know, filled with so much love. And um, that's a beautiful thing because in this world today, we we truly do need that. Um and then the, the other thing was um one of my um one of my subscribers uh cooking with Sherry. She, her husband went through something, he took a nasty fall, he had an accident, and it put him out of commission. Well, he's gonna be out of commission for a while. And I just asked you guys, you know, just really like out the blue, I just asked you guys, please to just pray for them, you know, because we all go through something sometime and we all need that. You know, um, I have a page on Facebook. It's called, as a matter of fact, I have six pages on Facebook. I told you guys about it before. But this particular page is called, It Takes a Village to Raise Our Children. And we do need that. You know, we are so in this newness now. And I hate to keep giving COVID um, credibility, but maybe that's not the right word. But, you know, keep on talking about it and upping it and bigging up COVID. COVID... COVID happened and um, a lot of things came from COVID being thrust upon us, right? I keep saying those words. It was thrust upon us. But um, so a lot of things have changed um, financially wise, um, economically wise, business wise. Um, some people are working from home now. They, they're not working in an office anymore. Maybe that's a good thing for some people. And for some people, it's, it it comes loneliness, you know, because you're used to getting up, going to work, even though no matter what you went through at your job, you had some co-workers or bosses that got on your nerves. You kind of look forward to getting up and interacting with people, right? So now the children, let's get with our children. Now they're being homeschooled. Um, they're doing hybrids. They're doing um, alternate days of going to school. They're doing virtual. They're not around their... Um, you know, children that they're used to being with, their friends. So things have changed. Our normal that we used to know is no longer our normal. Now we have to adjust to what um, society says that is our new norm and stuff like that, right? So um, we have to adjust to those things. But how many people can honestly say that um, they're okay? And it's a beautiful thing if you can say that. But um, we all go through things. And from what we just come from, and we're still going through in a sense, it has changed a lot of us um, emotionally, mentally, physically. Because when we were locked down for those uh, four months, a lot of people put on weight. You couldn't get out and go to the gym. Then another thing um, comes to solitude because you were locked up with your family members. In a sense, we were literally locked up. I've never been to jail in my life, a day in my life, but I felt like I was locked up because you couldn't go about like you normally go about. I'm the type of person I like to get up on the weekend and just run and go shopping and, you know, just take that me time, that woosah time, but we weren't able to do those things because a lot of stores were closed, a lot of businesses were closed. So, um, yeah, I will say we were taken out of our element, out of our world, right? But um, I'm just thankful that things are moving along. And then we still have some people that's not complying with the rules. 
and they're not keeping on their masks, they're not doing the social distancing, and it's just a lot of things that's going on that people that are doing the things we supposed to do are being, in a sense, reprimanded for it because other people are not listening. But I'm not here to judge people on that. I just want to say um, I'm thankful to have you guys in my life. Um, it is so many of you guys that I talk to on a personal level. Now, who would have ever thought, you know, you could be talking to somebody from the boondocks or somebody from upper Manhattan or somebody in Arkansas, or Nebraska or over in the um, over in the UK. And it's a beautiful thing because the Internet does have its good quirks. I mean, it has its good moments because it brings people together that normally wouldn't even have known each other in this lifetime, you know? So I just want to thank God for bringing me up here. And a question that I want to ask you guys, do you know your purpose in life? Like, not what do you want to do in life, but do you know your purpose? I'm 54 years old. I'm going to admit it. I'm 54 years old. I'm going on 55. And it took me 54 years to realize what was my purpose in life. And I do feel now, if I'm wrong, Father God, please forgive me. But I do feel my purpose in life is, um, I know I'm an, I'm an enabler. Um, you know, I'm always trying to help someone and, you know, looking through people's faults and saying, okay, we can work through this and you can get through this and it's not going to last forever. You know, and so it. Well, I say I'm an enabler because, um, if I know someone is going through something or they had a bad patch in life, I'm not here to naturally judge them because who am I to judge, <laughs> you know? But um, I do have a compassion for people. I'm not perfect. I'll say that, you know, no, I'm not perfect. But I do have a compassion for people. So I feel that the good Lord put me here to be a light to someone. Sometimes I need somebody to shine that light on me. You ever heard the saying, the ones that's so quick to give a helping hand or to lend a helping hand or to listen to someone else's issues or problems, sometimes they're the ones that's hurting the most. How many people can be real and admit that? You know, we live, some people live in glass houses and, and you put yourself up on this pedestal and I'm not here to judge anyone, but it's like, it's, a, it's almost like a fantasy world. Like, yeah, a lot of people have money. A lot of people, I'll say this again and again, have big fancy cars. A lot of people live in that life, as we would say. But sometimes you can have all the money in the world and you're still not happy. I know a lot of rich people aren't happy. I know a lot of poor people can, honey, they can make a meal out of anything. And they can bring you into their little home or whatever they have that's suitable for them. They learn to adapt and live with it, and they will welcome you with open arms to let you sit at their table and break bread. You know, and I'm not here to knock rich people or poor people, but I'm just here to say um, sometimes we ought to be careful of how we treat people because um, I was always told them same people you meet going up and climbing up that social or that um that business ladder or that success ladder, you might meet those same folks coming down. I just try not to judge people. I don't care what your sexual orientation is. I don't care how you live and how you have to make your money. If you have to get out on a street corner and do your thing, then who am I to judge you? You understand what I'm saying? That's what we ought to do. We ought to stop being so judgmental towards people because you never know what life going to have to throw you. Some women, you can have a rich husband and you and you and marry this baller and this big executive and this big CEO of a company. And, you know, he go out there and cheat on you or he go and, um, you know, have a, another family somewhere. And I'm not saying all people, I'm not telling you to go look at your husband now who's a big head of a CEO, a big CEO of a company and say, well, what you doing? No, I'm saying certain things like nothing is guaranteed in life. You could be living the life going on extravagant trips, you know, um, just living that life. You know, you could pay money, buy anything and just here, drop a whatever, a thousand, a million, whatever. 
But we got to understand everybody is not like that. And I'm not saying you're not supposed to shine because you have made it and, and you have reached that plateau that you want to be on and you are blessed with money. I'm not knocking you for that. I'm just saying be more uh, thoughtful of people. Um, just because you're up here today, you can be down there today. It's not even just because you're here today, you could be there tomorrow. No, you could be here today and down today. We just need to be more um, courteous and mindful and thoughtful of people. We need to pray for one another. We do. I do feel that in our lives because this world has gotten so cold. You can feel, ooh, it's like a, like a chill just shuddering up in your bones. You can walk down the street and say hi to someone. You might get a hello back. Mm, how you doing? <laughs> But we have to learn if you don't push it out in the atmosphere, how you expect it to come back to you. A lot of times I have been walking down the street or I go into a store or a business and I'll say, hi, good morning. Now, every morning I don't feel like that, but I have done it many a times. And sometimes I get a nice response back and sometimes I don't. But what I'm trying to say is find out what your purpose is in life. I think it would be so sad. That we would go through this whole world, no matter how long you make it, what age you make it to be. And you never find out what's your purpose in life or why were you put here? Or why do you think you were put here? I could be wrong for saying that I think I was here to help people and to be a light and shine um, some um, love on people. Because there's so much hate in the world. You know, I'm not saying everybody is hateful, but man, we got some evil folks out here and some hateful things going on behind these closed doors. That's why you should never, you know, think you're better than someone because or, you know, judge somebody because of how their house look or how their car look or what job they have. Because you know what? Everything is temporary. Always have a kind word to say to someone. I'm not going to say always. I mean, just sometime out of your day. If you do it once a day, twice a day, once a week, just find somewhere deep down in you to say a kind word to somebody because people are going through it, folks. You never know what that person have on their mind. I always say that. You never know what's in their heart, you know? Just try to say something nice. And sometimes I have had people come into the doctor's office where I work. I've been on my job for 18 years. And I have had people come on my job and some of the females or the mothers come in and you think, oh, she's kind of nasty. You take them in the room and you start talking to them. Some of them boo crying, telling you about what they're going through. Husband and they found out he's cheating or the kids on drugs or this one is um, trying to kill himself or this one don't know what they want in life. And some of them are beating up on the parents or vice versa. They're getting abused. That's what I'm saying. Don't take what you see out here on the outside and let it conform you and, and, and make you judge a person before you even get to know them. So I just wanted to say that. Just think about that, guys. Like, what is your purpose in life? You know, I feel like my purpose is to um love on people to be understanding of folks, to show them there is a better way out here, no matter what you're going through. You might be down today. You could be up today. You might be up today. You could be down tomorrow. We just have to learn to focus on um, what this life has to offer us and what can we in turn give back to this world. I would like to leave my mark on the world. I want my grandkids to remember, oh, grandma, you remember grandma did this with us? Oh, grandma was so crazy. Remember she used to say them corny jokes? And remember grandma used to take her time with each and every one. Sometimes she'll do it with us collectively or she'll take one of us aside and do certain little projects with them or I'll spend a little time with this one or that one. And I want my children to say, well, mama was a pain in the butt sometimes. She got on my nerves. She always spoke of mine and this and that. But my mother would listen and she would hug and she would kiss and she would tell her kids, I love you. My kids go out there, do I love you? Have a safe day. Why are they going out there doing praying to God? Please, Father God, keep your angels encamped around them. Please guide them to and from on their journey and bring them safely back home to me, if it's your will. Because these are our children. But the I feel to me, I feel the good Lord gave them to us. He allowed us to birth them and bring them into the world. But when he say it's time for us to leave or come home, he gave them to me on borrowed time. But while he gave them to me, I'm going to love on them. 
We don't always see eye, on, eye to eye all the time. We might go through our little changes and might not speak to each other for a week. or You know, I, we have been there before. I'm going to keep it real. We have been there before. Me and mine have. But they know I love them and I got them and I'm down for them. And one thing I can say, the good Lord, my children are down for me. You know, the, you know, the ones that's able to be down for me. So um, just look at your family a little different, guys. I'm not trying to run your life. I'm telling you what works for me. I have my moments where I get into a darkness and I have my moments where God bring me back out into the light because we're human and this flesh is going to always have you on alternate pages pages you're gonna some days feel good or you could wake up in a good mood and before the, the day is over you you're ready to knock somebody head off or vice versa you could wake up in a mean mood angry mood and you looking like huh where they do that at? is that me and then before the day is out somebody and said a kind word or done a kind gesture or just you know took you out of that 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 old dark circle you know so i'm going to end this video because you know miss deb can talk I love you guys. I pray that you find out what is your purpose in life. And I pray that the good Lord keep you and your family encamped around. Let his angels be encamped around you. And anybody that's going through anything, you know, just look at it like this. There is a way out. I know when you're caught in the moment in that, in that, in that feeling that you just feel like you're just being in cave down into the ground like everything is coming around you and just falling down on you and it's like carrying loads on your back but we all have to bear that cross so just tell yourself it's only temporarily it's only temporarily you know if i lost my job today no i wouldn't be happy i'm human heck no i won't be happy but i have faith enough in god to know whatever he tell me to do or whatever, whatever role he put me down, he's going to be there to guide me through that road. You understand? And if I lose my apartment or if I lose whatever, I do believe the good Lord is going to see me through. And that's a good feeling within itself. You know, so I just wanted to share that with you guys. I just feel like I just needed to come out and just ask you, what is your purpose? You guys can leave me comments. What do you feel like going on in your life? We all need someone to talk to. We all need an ear to listen sometimes. Sometimes you don't need to say anything. Sometimes you just need to put these on and listen. Listen to what your neighbor or your child or your husband or your wife or your siblings or your best friend or your enemy is going through. And sometimes that word, that one word that you say sometimes can change somebody's life. You understand what I'm saying? So have a beautiful evening, guys. I pray that you have a blessed night. I hope it be a nice, calm night for you. And may God take you through the rest of the week. I'm going to try to come up on um, maybe the weekend and do a uh, tutorial or maybe Friday. Who knows? I don't know. But um, just have a blessed one and know that God can take you through anything and he can get you through anything. God bless. Peace from his dads. One love, guys.